Morning YouTube. It's a bit dark and minging out there today. I don't think that really matters. The Ziggy's not too bothered. There's a few bits and pieces that I'd like to get on with today. This door, I only put that in quickly just to get a door in. So I need to put some wood in around there. These are my bits of wood. They are absolutely soaking and super heavy. I'm just going to give them a pressure wash off. I don't know if they're going to be too wet to do this. Look pretty good. They've just come from down the road. I think they'll come up nice with the pressure washer. That's them drying out. They're really lovely straight bits of timber. They, uh, they're, they're very strong actually and quite heavy because they're so wet and they've got some lovely lovely scars in them. They're going to replace this so I want to keep this door in. I've got this light to put say there or there and um, I want to keep that because it's lovely and I just temporarily fitted this front door quite badly. It's a chicken and the eggs thing. I need to do the frame first before I get everything sorted to the inside. This may seem very obvious, once I've taken this door off, I don't have a front door, I'm getting into the afternoon now, and it's a bit of a commitment. That's fine, I can put that back on easily. I had a feeling that this was going to happen. I got distracted, getting dark and late, and there's lots of fiddly faffy things to do. Uh, but I had to kind of take it out to understand what was to do, so it's just one of those, isn't it? I'm drying out. Just trying to quietly ignore that. That hole where the front door used to be. Cutting list, brew, and now we need some wood. So this is going to be my rebate along this side. This is my left hand piece of wood, this is my right hand piece of wood. Uh, so I just need to get some, rid of some of these little bits and pieces. And I'm going, to take these, I'm going to take these out and then I'll pop them back in again. But it's just going to make it hard for me to cut these because I've got nothing to push along with the guide. I could screw something onto it but it's just easier to take it out for now I think. Oh. <laughs> there we go. First are out. Meow. 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 Is it? So off we go again, one thing at a time. No. This fuse in here.
Beautiful. Also been doing this door. I don't know if you've heard in the videos, but Ziggy has been non-stop wow. So Minutes. Let's see what this is like in here. This is where I got up to last time. I've just got this all loosely in. Uh, this is the height that I need to go to. I need to get these fixed into there. I'll chisel that out. I need to get that fit in better outside there. I need to get that a bit flusher into there. And then these need to be perfectly straight on this side but they need to be at an angle to match this which is out if it was straight if this was a bit more square it'd be like that and then it'd look daft around the brick so it needs to needs to work with that really there's the inspector looking a bit annoyed actually he's, he's not enjoying the progress he wants it to be a bit, bit faster he likes the door just doing a test cut of putting this um, this door seal in here, which Siggy thinks is fun, and it's unfortunately, unfortunately it's too um, try and unfortunately it's just too too loose of a fit. It's the first time I've done this before, and I think also it needs cutting in there as well. So hopefully you can see that my saw blade is just too thick so I'm going to have to get something thinner to cut it no, I could do with a better some sort of a chisely type hammer That will go with some brute fast. It's not bad. Not bad at all. I like it. I'm just going to screw these scraps onto here because there's lots of little bits of metal sticking out which I don't want to take off but I can't push my guide against them it'll go skew with so on these go doing here I'm going to put some metal studs into the 
brickwork here. So I'm going to epoxy those in and then I'll make holes, corresponding holes, into this piece which is going to go on, on that wall there. Uh, it's just so that you can't see any fixings in here and to hold it tight because there's not really much to fix into um, and I want to make sure that I'm going into a good bit of brick. I have learnt an awful lot whilst doing it, which is really important. It's going to look really, <laughs> it's going to look quite cute really, once it's all, all together and lined plastered. I've just temporarily put that PVC door back in. It's not ideal, but you just need to have a good tidy up. Um, I'm about done. I've used all the energy I can use. <laughs> yeah. So this might be the end of the video. Um, I might, well, I might just get that put in a bit better. But um, I'm pretty, yeah. That's about the weekend done, really. Once by the time I've edited this uh, this video. So thanks very much for watching. And yeah, see you again hopefully. Ciao for now. Bye.